Magandang Habon basketball fans. Welcome to day three of Field Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Life. This is Eman Cabiles alongside Javi Palanya bringing you the first game of our daily triple header. Starting off with a Nueva Ecija best friend versus the Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life. And siyempre susunod naman dun. Game 2 will be AICC Manila versus Medical Depot. And bringing up the anchor is the Burlington EOG Sports against San Juan Knights. Go for gold. Javi, let's talk about the first game. Ano ang nangyari sa Nueva Ecija best friend nung last game nila? Well, Nueva Ecija best friend went up against Burlington EOG Sports. They lost that game 97-74. to in that game on our first game day, no, uh, Burlington EOG shot better from the field, shooting 44%. More shot attempts as well, 36 out of 81 compared to Nueva Ecija's 28 out of 68, good for only 41%. They were practically dominated in all categories. They gave up 52 rebounds, 30 of that in the offensive nature, and only 40 for Nueva Ecija best friend. And uh, one other thing that Burlington EOG excelled in in that game was the were able to force Nueva Ecija to 21 steals compared to only 11 for the green shirts and also 28 second chance points compared to Nueva Ecija's 12. One other glaring stat that I was willing to point out in this ball game for Nueva Ecija is they only shot 2 out of 17 from 3-point country. And alam naman natin in today's game, it's so hard to win a ball game if you can't hit it from the outside. That is right, Javi. And with James Martinez being one of the or the primary gunner for Nueva Ecija, I'm sure puputok yan dito sa game 2, babawi si James Long Range Martinez. Dito naman tayo sa Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Yes, Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life won a squeaker of a game in overtime against AICC Manila in the penultimate game of our first game day. They won that game 90-87 to on the heroics of John Wilson. Let's go through the stats of that game. Davao Occidental Tigers shot better from no, not much disparity actually 42% for Davao Occidental for AICC it was only 41 not much disparity also in the rebounding department AICC had 47 while Davao Occidental had 48 but the biggest difference in that category was Davao Occidental was able to take advantage of their 48 rebounds turning in 21 second chance points as opposed to AICC Manila's only 8. They also were able to take advantage of the points from turnovers 24 out of the 19 turn 24 turnovers of AICC Manila. Yes, that was one hell of a game, Javi. All the time, AICC Manila was leading and then just all of a sudden, Davao City Occidental Tigers turned it up, head, spearheaded by John Wilson. Okay, so we see now our first game. We have Isaiah Best Friend versus the double Dava Walks in Little Tigers Coco Life. We turn you over to our stadium announcer, Ken Panglinan. Good
there you go, mga kafield basket. That first five or the first fives is brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. We got Delfinado Sarao Cruz Palma and Martinez for Neva Isia Best Friend. And for the Davao Occidental Tigers, Balagtas, Dagangon, Lalata, Alday, and Palencia. Once again, it's brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. A totally different starting five for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Meanwhile, sa bad panic naman ng Nueva Ecija best friend and the in binasong Manila si Delfinado sa kanilang starting lineup in place of Brent Alcoriza. That's what you're saying. you were saying er earlier, Javi, no? Sa Davao Occidental Tigers, it doesn't matter kung sino yung first five nila. Yeah, that's right. You can uh, first to third group, anybody can start. This first quarter is brought to you by TikTok. And eto na. Foul ka agad ang tinawag doon para sa Davao Occidental Tigers. That's Chris Lalata. Trying to shut, to shut the interior for Sarao. Here's Mark Cruz. Big Mark Cruz. Not the Ant-Man. Interception there. And scrambled for the ball. Did you ever see against it? No, it's still loose. Not a very great first possession there by the best friend. If they want to start this game off on the right foot, they have to do the right thing. And that right there wasn't doing the right thing. So the possession will will remain. Check that. Change possession here. Alvin Aldai will inbound. From, from the backcourt. Oh, a backcourt violation was called. Eight seconds against the... Wait, let, let's clear this up. So, the possession is now awarded to Nueva Ecija best friend. James Martinez inbounding from the baseline. Palma for three. Bounces out. Kind of a hurried shot there. Yeah, Rens Palma, more known as a slasher, not really more, not really known for that outside shot there. I'll die with the behind the back pass, but stolen by Sarao. A forward to Delfinado. Couldn't handle it though, and stolen again, but stolen now by Palencia. Irvin dropping it off. Bounces out, but Lalata. That's turning somebody, garbage into gold. That's somebody you have to box out. Chris Lalata is a very athletic forward, and you can't just out jump him. Kilamo i box out to Chris Lalata. Matangkad na mataas pa balon. That's right. So early full court press here, implemented by Davao. He got the inbounds to Sarao. Delfinado. Itatawid niya bola, tatawid niya. Drive now by the best friend. Drop pass to Mark Cruz. Misses the, the reverse, but puts it back in. Well, that's something Nueva Ecija best friend has to improve on in this ball game. Shots in the from point blank range. That is right, but also credit the, the interior defense of Davao. Meanwhile, air ball, air ball there. So the ball goes back to the best friend. Jason Delfinado. Magiging point forward siya dito kung hindi nila mabibreak and press. And ito na nga, na, agaw nila lata. Sarao tried to steal it back but he was called for the foul. No press break whatsoever there on the possession of the white shirts. Davao Occidental exhibiting pressure here early on. Something they did not do in their first game against AICC Manila. Meanwhile, baseline... Inbound here for for Daba Walkton and Tigers. Here's Alvin Aldai. To the Gangon. The Gangon fakes. Now Palencia. Irvin going to the middle. Passing it off to Aldai. Aldai fakes. Step back three. Too strong. Battle for the rebound. Alvin Aldai was someone who was fielded in late in that game against AIC Manila but was man managed to score 7 points 
And here it is once again. This time, James Martinez takes control of the offense. Sarao, top of the key. He will drive, he will spin, he will fake, and he will drive it off to Mark Cruz. Excellent dish off there by JP Sarao to Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz, only one out of four in that game against Burlington EOG, looking to bounce back in this ball game against Davao. Meanwhile, Alvin, Alvin Aldai Palagtas will try the three, and he makes it. It is now four to five in favor of the Tigers. Seven minutes, 14 seconds left in the first quarter. James Martinez now being hounded. Sarao again will drive, kicks it out to Mark Cruz from Rainbow Country this time. Bounces out. Irvin Palencia will set it up for the for Davao. Alvin Aldai reverse is good. Excellent. Baseline drive there by Irvin Palencia to set up the, cult, the cutting Alvin Aldai. They are very much in sync, Javi. Yes, and we thought that the chemistry of this Davao Occidental team wasn't really fully built yet as we start this tournament. But right now, they're showing remnants of that. Meanwhile, floater by Sarao is, is money. John Paul, John Paul Sarao, one of the players who played well for them, scored 14 points in their first game. Yes, he was one of the bright lights in that last game for the best friend. Meanwhile, Balagtas to the Gangon. The Gangon will shoot the three too strong. Cruz tried to get the rebound, but Aldai comes up with it. Now Lalata will force his way in, and he is successful with that short stab. Almost great defense there, but better O by Chris Lalata over the outstretched arms of Mark Cruz. Meanwhile, Jason Delfinado. Nay pasa na kay Sarao. Now James Martinez being outed by Irvin Palencia and he gets that foul. Good fake by James Martinez. James Martinez is someone that Nueva Ecija best friend needs to get going. He did score 10 points in their first game but was 0 from Rainbow Country so that he, he mostly got his points from the, from the free throw area. And we all know that James Martinez is a known gunner from the outside, so it is important for him to hit his stride from three-point range in order for his team to be successful. Meanwhile, James Martinez misses his first free throw. Papa did pa si long-range James. And there you go, his first point of the ball game. Now the best friend will implement their own brand of press. They will tr now try to trap Irvin Palencia. Pero hindi na dinikitan ni James Martinez. Ball now is with Lalata. Top of the key against Mark Cruz. The gang on. Six on the shot clock. Lalata jumper. No. Good tap by Delfinado. And it's now ahead to Palma. Palma misses that, that layup though. Not a very good decision there by Palma. That was a three-on-one break. He should have waited for other of his teammates to get down the floor. Lamang pa rin po ang Tigers. 9-7. to seven, 5 minutes, 10 seconds remaining here. James Martinez with a three. Ito na ang inaabangan natin. Long range James finally connecting on that three. First attempt, first made shot from three-point country in this tournament for James Martinez. Previously, he was zero out of four. Yun, Lalata jumper. Where's Lalata? Lalata is proving to be a thorn here for the Nueva Ecija best friend. Yes, they have to contain him somehow. Yes, and the six-foot-five forward out of San Jose Occidental Mendoro, proving that uh, Coach Matt Malak Makalintal's move to start him was a good thing. Oh, Palma almost lost that ball as he, as he slipped there. James Martinez controlling. And he was called for, for palming the ball. That was the correct call by our referees. James Martinez dribbling the ball too high. Now Davao will, will look to add on to this one-point lead. A couple of substitutions. Palma comes out for Renzal Coriza. Irvin Palencia uses that Balagtas pick. He will drive and he will drop to Lalata. And Lalata picks up that foul 
again from Mark Cruz, big Mark Cruz. Oh, check that. That's the foul was on on John Paul Sarao. Irvin Palencia doing a good job of attracting the defense on his drives and at the last minute dropping it off to his teammates. Now on this occasion, Chris Lalata will try to make two shots from our 15-foot parallel. First shot of Lalata. That is good. It's now 12 to 10 in favor of the Tigers. Four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Second shot is up. It's short. And lane violations on both sides is called by referee. That was a double lane violation. Right. Kaya jump ball ang tinawag. And but, possession will stay with the Davao Occidental Tigers. Tama. Good break there for the Tigers. The guy one will now is now waiting to inbound from the sideline, but referee said that it should be at the baseline, so it's now going to be Alvin Aldai. The guy gets the ball. Oh, thought he might have gotten away with an right. outside violation there. Great interior passing, however, malakas ang tira ni Lalata. James Martinez looking for that pick. And Alvin Aldai fishing that foul from Mark Cruz. If Alvin Aldai didn't sell that very well, I don't think the referees would have called right. that foul on Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz shaking his head there. And Alvin Aldai, tuloy tuloy na sa bench. Alam niya na papasok na. Ang ating inihintay, si Aquaman, Paolo Hubalde. Si Paolo Hubalde also in their first game. Late na rin pumasok para kay Coach Gerson Cabiltes. And it's really a hard job for Coach Gerson Cabiltes to rotate his players. Again, lahat dito pwedeng-pwede talaga eh. Maging star sa ibang team. But dito, they are sacrificing their playing time for the good of the team. Let's see if matatawid ba ng, ng web. I see a best friend. Ang bola dito. Jace Martinez will control it against Irvin Palencia, who is a very, very pesky defender. Now, Nakpil in the game. To Delfinado. Jason making his move. Going right. Trying to drop it off to Mark Cruz. Nakpil in a boot and shot clock. Again, that solid defense by the Davao Occidental Tigers. Coco Life working wonders. That was also one thing that Nueva Ecija was having a hard time in their first game. Burlington EOG really amped up the pressure from the start hanggang sa finish kahit nung inerect na nila yung double digit advantage na nila. They kept pressing Nueva Ecija and Nueva Ecija always had a hard time setting up their offense and finding a rhythm. Samantala, nakabawi si Nakpil dun. Trying to go for the steal. Nag-tap niya yung bola. Tumama sa tuhod and ng taga-davao. At balik sa best friend ng bola. Now Wingel in the game. Jason Delfinado uses the Mark Cruz pick. Long three. No. Now Bill inside Mark Cruz. To, um, to Mark Cruz rather, but the ball bounces out. Now it's Paulo Hubalde. Almost dribbling the ball off his foot. The Gangwon powers his way through, and he is called for the travel. Coach Mac Mal Ma Mat Makalintal playing small ball here. Keith Agovida and Chris Lalata in their front court. The score hasn't moved in a couple of minutes. It's still 12 to 10 in favor of Dava Walks Dental Tigers Coco Life. But the possession is with the Nueva Ecija best friend. Let's see if the change of personnel can also can also change the offense of the best friend which has been stagnant. Alcoriza for three. Kablam. Great shot there by Renz Alcoriza and the best friend. Not really converting well from three-point country in their last game but right now 
two shots already made from long distance. That seemed like John Wilson let Alcoriza shoot that three. Niya dinikitan. Meanwhile, Lalata will shoot the jumper. Swish. Revelation here for the Davao Occidental Tigers. Coco Life. Lalata leading the pack. Yes, Chris Lalata already with seven points to lead all scorers here in our ballgame. We now have Alcoriza. Will shoot the three again from the same spot. This time it bounces out. Ingel taps the ball out before John Wilson can, could catch it, but referees say that it went through the hands of John Wilson. So good defense there by Jordan Ingel. Jordan Ingel will use the screen of Nakpil to Bon Leon. Bon Leon now top of the key. Back to Alcoriza. Good pass inside. Bon Leon is free for three. Splash. The best friend already three out of six from three point country to begin our ball game. Pale in comparison to their two out of 17 conversion in their first game. And Jordan Engel is pumped up because that jump ball against Bonbon Custodio off the inbounds. A timeout is called by the Dava Walks and Nettle Tigers. It's 16 to 14. Lamangna ng dalawa ang Nueva Ecija best friend with 1 minute and 20 seconds left. Magbabalik po kami. And we're back here at Subic Bay Gymnasium. You are watching Phil Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. The score is still 16 to 14 with I see a best friend holding on to a two point lead. One minute, 17 seconds left in the first. This is Eman Cabiles alongside Javi Palanya. And what do you think Javi is uh, Nueva Ecija is doing right here. Well, right now, compared to their first game, they're more settled down. They're not rushing their shots. They're running their sets very well, and it's resulting into good shots. That is right. Uh, like you said, in the first game, Nueva Ecija best friend had trouble shooting the three. Samantala ngayon, nakakailan na sila. First Nak quarter pa lang. Nakakatatlo na sila ngayon. Three out of seven from three-point country. Now the two, well, the three veterans inside for Davao Occidental Tigers. That would be John Wilson, Paulo Hobalde, and Bonbon Custodio. John Wilson releasing that from the corner. Wala, long rebound goes to Irvin, to Ingel, rather. Alcoriza's shot was blocked from underneath. Tumira siya ng tres, wala pa rin. And a foul is called on the rebound. Looks like it's going to be on Agovida. Foul at number 14, Team Agovida. That's his first 14 foul. You are right, Javi. Now, Bon Leon. Tol Coriza. Ingel. Bon Leon. Top of the key. Good defense again by, by John Wilson there. But Bon Leon. Barrels his way through and makes that runner. I was just about to say that John Wilson is not only an explosive scorer but a great defender as well. But that time, Embon's Bon Leon getting the best of John Wilson. That's right. Apparently, the offense was better at that time. Paulo Hobalde 
Now that's Bon Bon. A region foul against Jordan Ingel on Bon Bon Custodio. Andrea Baisia, best friend still up by 5, 19 to 14. 16 seconds left on the, on, in the first quarter, while 14 seconds left on the shot clock of Davao. John Wilson in the corner. He will post up. And he, is, he was blocked by, by Valen there. Good defense by Valen. Now Bon Leon, two seconds left in the corner. And he gets a foul, so he is going to the free throw line. Good play by M. Bon Bon Leon. Yeah, Bon Leon only three points in their game against Burlington EOG, but right now making a conscious effort to put the ball in the basket. For those of you who don't know who Embon's Bonleon really is, he is a very capable scorer, especially in high school pa lang siya sa LSGH. When he moved to UST under Coach Bong de la Cruz, not so much na na-highlight yung scoring prowess niya, but looking to highlight that once again in our Phil Basket Subic Bay Tournament. However, Bonleon failing to shoot the two free throws. The score stands at 19-14. to Weva Isia, best friend, up by five. That is the end of the first quarter. We will be right back. Second quarter now in this first game of the third day of Phil Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. It is still 19 to 14. We have a best friend up by five against the Dava Occidental Tigers. Coco Life. The Tigers may be down by five right now, but if I were the Nueva Ecija best friend, I wouldn't be complacent because this is exactly what happened to AICC Manila in their game, no ating first game day. By the way, this quarter heavy is brought to you by TikTok. Jordan Ingel to Alcoriza. It's the same lineup from, from the end of the first quarter for Nueva Ecija. But there are changes in the Davao lineup. Bonbon Custodio with a pull-up jumper off the fast break. That's something Bonbon has done for many, many years. And he, mukhang wala pang kakupas-kupas. Oo nga. Jordan Ingel to Bon Leon. Alcoriza going. Pero hindi pinatsin ni Bon Leon. Bon Leon shoots the jumper. It's short. And Alan Santos gets that, that rebound. A little too over eager there was Nakpil. Oh, sorry, Ingel. Yes, Jordan Ingel trying to to close the path of Bonbon Custodio and in the process getting that foul. So Jordan Ingel comes out. De La Torre comes in. He's now hounding Paulo Hubalde. Meanwhile, Agovida to John Wilson. Santos, top of the corn, top of the key. Back to Santos. Santos now. Nanjan ang kanyang sweet spot, but he was blocked by Valen. Tapi ka ng ball na napunta kay Agovida. But before he can make his move, three second violation ang tinawag ng ating referee. Good defense there by the best friend. Surprisingly, the Nueva Ecija best friend are holding their own in the interior. Meanwhile, maraming salamat po sa ating mga kaibigan sa SBMA, Subic Bay, 
and Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Maraming salamat po sa inyong assistance dito sa field basket. Three seconds left on the shot clock. De La Torre fires. Didn't get that foul. Now John Wilson is with Paulo Hubalde and he will lay it up and in. John Wilson, the reason why AICC Manila failed to get their first win in their first game, he li really lit up when it mattered the most. Bon Leon dropping it off inside to Valin, pero natapikan and stolen by Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life. It's now Paulo Hubalde using that big Alan Santos screen. Back to Santos now to Bonbon. Bon. So you fix jumper and he makes that shot like it ain't no thing, Javi. Bonbon bon Custodio, two out of two in their last two possessions. Looking to be more aggressive in terms of scoring. Dito sa ating laro. Yes, Javi, no first game, parang nagre reserva pa sila up until the, the, the middle of the third quarter. Well, I think AICC awakened the dragon. And that's why ngayon pa lang, eh, aggressive na sila. Well, they are still keeping in pace with the best friend. But this is definitely a more aggressive Davao Occidental that we are seeing compared to the start of the game against AICC. That's right, Agovida, spin move, bounces out. Scores 21 to 20, trying to protect a one point lead. Arden Nueva is the uh, best friend, pero pinalaki pa yon ni Bon Leon. However, it's only a two point shot. So 23 to 20 now, with six minutes 40 remaining in the second. Paulo Hupalde driving and dropping to Alan Santos, pero before that pass, nakakuwa siya ng foul. And we'd like to acknowledge Coco Life, the official partner here in Phil Basket Subic Championship. Coco Life. So Paulo Hubalde having will inbound from the baseline. Ooh, Aguvida couldn't convert, pero nakuha niya. Naibalik. Despite the double team, huh? Yeah, and Keith Aguvida, despite being undersized compared to the two FSCA bigs that were underneath with him, was still able to convert the basket. FSCA now, Alcuriza's corner, Palma gets it back. Palma will try to drive it. Back to Alcuriza. Alcuriza, the baseline. Three seconds on the shot clock. Medyo four ang tira doon ni Renz Alcuriza. Let's see kung makakalamang na ba ang Davao dito. Alan Santos back to Custodio. In the middle, Sagovida. That lefty floater is in. Itagovida is usually money from that range. So you have to do a better job of putting those hands up if you're able to stop him. So the Tigers back up again by one. Five minutes, 36 seconds left in the second quarter. De La Torre now to Palma. Asking for the ball is Nakpil against Agovida. Six seconds on the shot clock. Palma releases it and connects the three. The best friend looking to have a field day from the outside here. Monag shooting ng matitinditon sa ensayo. Paulo Hubaldes layup is no good. De La Torre, meanwhile, with a jumper, bounces out naman. Bon Bon looking ahead. Pero na-cover kagad yung mga teammates niya. Meanwhile, Agovida will spin. Alan Santos to Hubalde. Hubalde goes in and De La Torre was called for the foul. 4.46 remaining at the half. Lamang ng dalawang with a Sia best friend. 26-24 against the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Life. Several substitutions here, Javi. Bumalik yung ibang first five ng UFAC best friend. Again, we'd like to acknowledge Coco Life, our partner here in Phil Basket. Well, for Gilmer De La Torre, that will be a tough job. Guarding Bonbon bon Custodio at the post is, no, is, not, is never easy. 
and Bonbon Custodio knows it. That's why he's trying to take advantage every every time, no? Levesia going with a 2-3 zone here. Shifting defenses. Recognizing the height advantage That's of right. the Tigers. Jumper by Robles, no? Well, they were lucky there that Eman Kahlo didn't go away with the rebound. That's something that every team needs to work on when you're on a zone. Yung rebounding, it's talaga mahirap yan kasi you're guarding areas, not men. That's right, and in the ball game, Billy Ray Robles and Eman Kahlo, both factors in, in their win in the last game, and dito na. Parang ilang sila ginamit na. Yep, it's their first entry into this ball game. Mar Mar Big Mark Cruz, right place at the right time for the putback there. Uh, Mark Cruz already eclipsing his performance from last game. Now it's six points here. Paulo Hubaldes pass almost stolen by Palma. Retrieved by Eman Kahlo. Eman Kahlo for three. Offline. De La Torre picks it up. Palma is running. And he will bring it out to the other side. Now James Martinez is here. Three minutes, 35 seconds left at the half. Palma again. Inside to Mark Cruz. The hook is up. And it's out. Meanwhile, Bonbon Custodio again with the rebound. For a guard, nakakarami ng rebound si Bonbon. Ah. Bonbon ever since... Early in his career, has been a very great rebounder for a guard. At hindi lang yun. Oh, check that. I thought that was Bonbon Custodio. It was on the other side of the court. Eman Carlos splashes one for the Davao Occidental, Occidental Tigers. And when you expect James Martinez to shoot the three, he will drive and score. At that time, the si Bonbon ng apat na white shirts. And now James Martinez is controlling. He shoots the three. Bounces out. Paulo Hubalde. Eman Kahlo. Corner three. Short. Two minutes, 41 se seconds left at the half. Do you ever see a best friend protecting a three-point three, three point lead, 30 to 27? Mark Cruz out of his comfort zone to Sarau. Sarau. Palma now to Mark Cruz at the post. Mark Cruz out to De La Torre. And De La Torre beating the shot clock. That's already five three-pointers in this ball game for the white shirts. The best friend feeling it today. Oh, good. Good hustle and steal completed by Palma. And James Martinez with the layup and the score. Do you ever see a best friend? Up 35 to 27 with one minute 50 seconds left at the half. But if I were never to see, I'd finish this half very strong. I wouldn't want to keep my foot off the gas pedal because if there is a team that is capable of going up against big leads, Davao has proven to be one of them. At ito na, Billy Ray Robles, first basket of the game, and you know that it won't be the last, Javi. Meanwhile, Palma releases it. Rims out. Paulo Hubalde looking up. Eman Kahlo to Bonbon Custodio. Side jumper is good. Cutting that lead to four. One minute, nine seconds left. In the first half. De La Torre. Orchestrating. Palma will drive. Floater is up. And the ball goes back to the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco line. So Jordan Ingel comes back in for De La Torre. Meanwhile, Paulo Hubalde now bringing the ball up. 51 seconds remaining. Three zone once again for Doeva Isia. Bonbon Custodio. Oh, good passing there by Davao Occidental Tigers. And a timeout. Oh, that would be the grab delivery of the game. That assist to completed by Alan Santos. We have a timeout here. Okay, we have a timeout here and we will be back.
That last time out was brought to you by a Stig Roasters Coffee. 33 seconds left at the half, and Palma makes that layup and brings the lead back up to four, 37 to 33. Nueva I see a best friend. Nueva see already in the penalty, so they can't foul here. Meanwhile, Davao still four fouls to give to end this quarter. Eight seconds on the shot clock for Davao. Robles takes it inside. Shot out by Mark Cruz, but another grab assist delivery of the game. And this time, Bonbon Custodio, the beneficiary of, of that beautiful assist by Robles. And with 1.6 seconds left at the half, nakakuha pa ng foul ang Nueva Ecija dito. Uh, that's a good foul there by Paulo Hubalde. They have a lot to give. Preventing Nueva Ecija from getting a good shot to end the quarter. It is only their first team foul no, of the quarter. So... Davao playing very good defense. Meanwhile, Saraus, he did not go. And at that is right. At the end of the half, Nueva Ecija, best friend still leading by two against the Davao Occidental Tigers. We will be right back for the third quarter.
subscribe to the pause you clap doing everything that i can just to fly but i know i'm still not above you baby i'm still looking for you you know this world's still about you and in every crazy nights where the demons comes i will be the rescue cuz every time it's a steady grind it's a rat race homie i'm behind na ulahi na ang kana han but i'm still chasing you right here inside my mind this a bug who's in mong fun you always parade this for my eyes i know that money reveals all the colors you painted and coded as such lies anyway it's a lovely day loving the hustle is still the way Wiping the tears from out my eyes cuz even in pain I will always stay the journey's the same it will never change it's only your love that will get me pain matter is you right here by my side i am willing to take all the pain away my life i'll be taking down any day i'm asking the lord that you make me stay to give you a future with no more hate in that moment in time i will always wait my life i'll be taking down any day i'm asking the lord he removes the waste to give you a future with no more pain in that moment in time i will always pray i'll always pray Press the chains of me now cuz i'm a little bit of Pass that vibes to me now So I can chase my passion No, the grind don't stop
afternoon once again and at halftime we have a see uh, best friend leading 37 to 35 to, to 35 against the the Val Occidental Tigers Coco Life now for the halftime stats brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99 here's Javi 15 out of 34 from the field for Nueva Ecija for 44%. Meanwhile, on the other end, Davao, Davao Occidental Tigers, 16 out of 34 for 47. Not much difference in that department. They are also tied in the rebounds. 14 assists compared to just 9 for Davao Occidental Tigers. They are playing better team basketball here and also 21 points off the bench for Davao. But uh, the reason why Nueva Ecija is holding this 2-point lead against Davao is because they're shooting very well from the three-point area. Five out of 13 compared. They're already about to eclipse the 17 shots that they attempted in their last game. Now already making five. Davao just making two of eight from Rainbow Country. And also 20 points in the paint. Davao lording it over inside. Now we have our leading scorer, scorers brought to you by Grab. James Martinez Bon Leon and Mark Cruz together with Palma for Nueva Ecija. Lalata with nine, Custodio with eight, Agovida four, and Balagtas with three for the Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Live. And we are now going to start the third quarter of play in the Boam first game. It was a third day in a field basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Live. The third quarter. Mark Cruz a little bit of out, a little bit out of control on that baseline drive. Okay, third quarter presented by Coco Life. Now on that tap, what can you say about the, the second five of the Davao Occidental Tigers, Javi? Well, this is the same start. This is actually the same starting five that they started with in their first game. So Coach Mat Makalintal was uh, experimenting to start this ball game. Eh, mukhang di, uh, di maganda yung pinalauna ng experiment na yun. That's why now he's going with his starting group. In the game now is a qualified crowd favorite, Gerwin Gago. Meanwhile, Palagtas connects with a three. And excited na mga Gago Natics, Javi. Yeah, that's right. That's first entry of Gerwin Gago into this game. Meanwhile, Palma over to Mark Cruz. Hands it off to James Martinez. James Martinez floater offline, a little bit to the left. At Tumatak Munan, Perso, back to him. And now to Gerwin Gago. Kahlo with the drive and the basket. Evan Kahlo may not bring the points every game, but if you want him to score, you can count on him to do so. Namang na po ang Davao Occidental Tigers. Coco Live 40 to 39. With eight minutes remaining in the third, Nakpil running out of space. Pero suerte at natawagan ng foul ng kanyang defender. Who is Balagtas? And Nakpil will go to the line. Almost good defense show there by Balagtas. But slightly moving his hip on that drive by Nakpil. And that's why he is at our 15-foot line. Exactly, Javi. Javi, rather... Medyo may konting balakang eh. Nakpil. Sinks one of the two free throws. And it's now 40 all. Dito is a very exciting first game. Now third day of Phil Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Life. Looking for a foul there was Robles. Pero walang tawag. Meanwhile, Gako. Tracking that ball down. Now Eman Kahlo will use that screen. Back to Jerwin Gako. He will power his way through. Jerwin Gako, the only member of that Harbor Center team to win all seven championships in the PBL. Also won a PBL MVP in that right. Yung move ni Gako na yun could be our TikTok move of the game. Jordan Ngel. Now build the jumper. No. Jordan and Gale picks it up, back to Cruz, but de defended well by Robles that time. Now Eman Kahlo will drive, but he will not score. Oh, poor decision there by Eman Kahlo. That was a two-on-one fast break. He could have passed it off there to Marco Balagtas, who is free on the right side. 
Lamang pa rin po ng isang Davao Occidental Tigers, 41 to 42, 7 minutes, 14 seconds left in the third. Jordan and Gell will set it up for the, the Nueva Ecija best friend. Here is Palma, natapakan ng bola sa likod. James Martinez will drop it off to Nakbil. Nakbil the jumper and that is good. Maraming salamat po pala sa ating mga kaibigan sa Subic Bay Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Maraming salamat po sa assistance dito sa field basket. Balaktas for three, splash! Second straight boo-boo there by Jeric Nakpil. Balaktas already hit that one a while ago. Nakpil didn't adjust on that play. And he was very open that time. Jordan and Gil trying to keep his dribble alive. Pero na tapikan at nasunutan, na nakawan. At nakakuha ng basket si Billy Ray Robles for Davao Occidental Tigers. 47 to 43 now. Lumalaki ang kalamangan ng Davao. 6 minutes and 21 seconds left in the third quarter. We will be right back after this Astig Rosters timeout. This is the third quarter brought to you by TikTok. It's 47 to 43, Lamang Paren and Davao Tigers. And at that play, Nakabuwa ng foul. And we may see your best friend. Foul Don si Robles. Baseline inbound here. James Martinez lets it fly. Wala. Now running are the Tigers. Balagtas gets that pass. Eman Kahlo. Balagtas is now at the three-point area. And they will settle for the half-court offense. Terzo to Balagtas again. Now Eman Kahlo. Back to Balagtas. Balagtas jumper. Three seconds of the shot clock. Wala. We'll go to James Martinez. James Martinez to Mark Cruz. Back to Jordan. Inside pass. Sits around. Travel there. Great Dragging defense once yes. again by Marco Balagtas to stand his ground there against the cutting JP Sarau. Five minutes, 22 seconds left in the third. 47-43, lamang pa rin po ng apat ang Davao Occidental Tigers Kogo Life. There's now being hounded by Jordan Ingel. Using the Balagtas pick and the Gapu pick. Coming up is Eman Kahlo, loses the ball. Jerwin Gapu, the jumper, bounces out. Well, that's a shot Jerwin Gapu can definitely make, but missing on that attempt. Well, Palma looking for his teammates inside at the post to Sarau. Sarau the hook, no. Mark Cruz trying to get that rebound, but controlled by the Dava Occidental Tigers. Jerwin Gago, the ball, the bola. JP Sarau having a hard time cracking the defense of Marco Balagtas. That's already three straight possessions. Terzo takes the three back to Gago. Gago will take it inside. Almost traveled. Lucky that he got that ball from Sarau. From Sarau. 
Uh, great interior passing there by the Tigers. And horrible rotation on the defensive end for Nueva Ecija. Score remains the same, 47, 43, 4 minutes, 30 seconds left. Terzo lets it fly, pero wala. Balling back in the game. Palma shut down. Sarau with a baseline jumper. Wala. Ballin gets that rebound and the hook is good. Well, John Lee Valin ought to make those kinds of shots, especially when it's that near the basket. He is 6 7 after all. Lead is down to two. German Gabo getting another foul from Valin this but, time. But looks like the 6 7 frame cannot contain Akaisa Isang German Gabo. Yes. Gapo is larger than life, especially for the Gaponatics. Meanwhile, we'd like to thank our we'd like to thank our friends from Wilson, the official basketball of Phil Basket Zubik Championship. First try by Gapo is good. Pablo Balde back in the ball game. Kubalde seeing much floor time here compared to the AICC game. Looks like paunti unting ini integrate ni Coach Matt. Yes, si Paolo Hubalde. Trying to, to sa ating tournament. Trying to find his legs slowly but surely. Si Paolo Hubalde. Pero he looks so fit for his for his age. Doesn't look his age at all. No, no. I won't say numbers anymore. Baka magalit si Kuya Paolo. Pag mo lang ikuya. Kinuya mo eh. <laughs> no, no obvious to look. Anyway, uh, here comes the Nueva Ecija best friend, Sarao. Top of the key, Jordan Ingel, ah, rather Alcoriza, Sarao for three, wala, medyo, medyo minamadali ngayon ni Sarao yung mga tira niya because of that, that stifling defense by Balagtas. Terzo using that big Alan Santos pick, he will drive, oh sorry miss by Terzo, and Terzo was claiming he was hit in the face. However, the foul was called against Alan Santos of that, of that rebound. Three minutes, 23 seconds left in the third quarter. Bumalik na ulit pala sa apat ang kalamangan ng Dabao Occidental Tigers. Go for life, 49 to 45 against the Drip. I see a best friend. De La Torre is back in the game along with Takpil. Now Alcoriza, Delfinado, Delfinado looking for his shot, passes to Nakfil, back to De La Torre, four seconds to shoot, De La Torre tried to drop it off, but stolen by Eman Calo, and the play goes on, Terzo to Santos, Santos top of the key back to Terzo, Terzo now inside to Calo, natapikan ng bola, and they will try again, Paolo Ubalde now, Paolo Ubalde will take it inside. Left hand floater, too strong. Good foul there by Eman Calo to stop that fast break. This duty foul there given up by Eman Calo. But not really a good foul because they are now in the penalty to Davao Occidental Tigers. Oh, nga, hindi pala good foul. So that puts them above the, the penalty line. Dalawang bonus shots ngayon para kay De La Torre. With 2 minutes and 34 seconds left in the third. De La Torre's shot is good. Cutting that lead down to 3, 46 to 49. Before the second shot, we'd like to thank Wilson, our official ball for Phil Basket Subic Championship. A lot of two there from Gilmer De La Torre. John Wilson back in the game. Dabo trying to protect a three point lead before the third quarter ends. Tend to shoot Alan Santos. Bumping and spinning and getting that foul from John Lee Valin. Valin will have to do a better job of defending a guy like Alan Santos in the post. He, he, bangga ka lang ng bangga. he is 
two inches taller, but Santos is like five meters wider. Meanwhile, De La Torre looking for a semi-fast break here. Delfinado to Alcoriza. Alcoriza hounded by Alday. Alcoriza will shoot. That is too strong. Now, Phil getting that offensive rebound, but stepping out of bounds. Well, ever since the gold shirts have amped up their defense, especially here in the second half, natin, eh, hirap na hirap na ang Nueva Ecija to set up their offense and gain a rhythm. Nakita na natin to, Javi, nung first game nila against the AICC Manila. Turning up the D during the third quarter. Meanwhile, Alday will drop it off to Balagtas. Balagtas will fake, and he will get the foul. It's been a field day for Keith Agovida. Five, six feet away from the basket. At wala magawa ang Nueva Ecija best friend. Check that. It's either they foul him or he makes the basket. Check that. I said Palaktas, it was Agovida. My bad. So, end one here for Agovida. And he puts the lead back up to five now. 51 to 46. Check that, make it 52 to 46. Six point lead being enjoyed by Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Life. And that defense again. Nueva Isia has to figure out kung papano ma break yung press na yun. Paolo Hobade will inbound from the baseline. Good pass to Agovida and he scores. Simply no communication there on defense for the best friend. And Lava Occidental Tigers capitalizing on that once again. Front line of Nueva Ecija best friend looks winded here, Javi. Meanwhile, Delfinado. Ito, hindi naubusan ng energy to eh. That is Nakpil missing that shot. And Alcuriza fight, fighting for that rebound. Now, Valin, the left hook is good again. Cutting that lead down to six. Excellent energy there by Valin, not giving up on the play. Right, one minute to go in the third, 54 to 48. Paulo Hobaldi now asking for a pick. Alan Santos inside. His hook rolls out. Alan Santos really liking his matchup there against John Lee Valin. Alam niyang kayang kaya niya postihan at karagin si, pa, si John Lee Valin sa loob. Yes, that is that was his shot, no? Lumabas lang. Meanwhile, Del Pinado, shot by Alcubida. Alcuriza now will use the Nakpil pick. Three to shoot. However, before that shot, they stepped on the sideline. So another turnover here. And we have a best friend. And this is not helping their cause. It's only 29 seconds left in the third. 54 to 48. Sa Davo Pambola. Alcubida take that take that inbound pass back to Paulo Hubalde 19 to shoot 23 on game clock and Alan Santos converts we've seen various breakdowns on the defensive end for Nueva Ecija especially in this quarter and that will not help their cause especially a veteran against a very veteran team like six, Davao six seconds left on the third quarter and lucky break there nakakuha ng foul si De La Torre so he will shoot two as Davao Occidental Tigers is in penalty. So the score is 56 to 48, eight point lead. Being enjoyed by Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Light. De La Torre for a shot. Too strong. Three seconds, 3.9 seconds left in the third quarter. De La Torre makes the second. 3.9 seconds left. Alan Santos with the ball to Alvin Alday. Alvin lets it fly and too strong. At the end of the third quarter, 56 to 49, seven point lead being enjoyed by the Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Live.
Magbabalik po kami for the fourth and final quarter. Fourth quarter now. In this first game of day three of Phil Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Life. This is Eman Cabiles present with Javi Palanya. Before we get into the action, Javi, shout out muna tayo sa ating brother, Claro Manzano. Yes, hi, Claro. Okay, Davao Occidental Tiger still leading 56 to 49. And this quarter. It's brought to you by TikTok. Our uh, quarter scoring here. 19, 18, and 12 for Nueva Ecija. 14 and 21. 21 as well in the third for the Davao Occidental Tigers. And that's the reason why they are up seven points here to begin the fourth. Pero mo kambuwa bawi na ang best friend looking to run. Paulo Hubalde didn't get that charge. Pero hindi din naman na shoot ni Palma. Alvin will die now to Hubalde. Nine minutes, six seconds left in the game. 56 to 51. Alan Santos. John Wilson for three. Bang! John Wilson, three. John Wilson hasn't really made his presence felt yet in this ball game, but I think this will be the start. It seems that uh, yung mga veteran plays a uh, players ng the Occidental Tiger major mina manage yung mga minutes nila no well that's a difference with veteran players now they know when to turn on the switch yes they are always ready Paulo Hubalde all alone for the lefty Paolo layup Paolo score 61 to 51 10 point lead by the Davao Occidental Tigers Eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the game, and this timeout is brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. Magbabalik po kami. Pagkatapos nitong replay. This could be a grab delivery assist of the game. I'll die to Hupalde. Again, it's 61 to 51. Sampuna po ang kalamangan ng Davao Occidental Tigers. We will return after this timeout. First game of the third day of Phil Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Live. This is Eman Cabiles together with Javi Palanya. Fourth quarter na po tayo dito sa laro ng Nueva Ecija Best Friend versus Davao Occidental Tigers Coco Live. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left. James Martinez's floater is good. Yeah, Nueva Ecija only shooting 27% from the field in the third quarter compared to 44% for Davao Occidental. Meanwhile, despite making more free throws, Davao Occidental didn't miss from the 15-foot line in our third quarter. John Wilson, second three. And the lead is up to 11. Biggest lead 
of the Tigers. That entry pass by Saral, telegraphed. Alday now pushing, Wilson open again for the three. And three out of three by John Wilson. And just like that, he's already up to nine points. And the lead is up to 14. Palma now against Ubalde. Makakabawi ba si De La Torre? Yes, he does. Check that. That was Jordan Ingel for three. At nababa niya yung kalamangan ng konti ngayon to 11. Nueva Ecija best friend will try to implement their own brand of full court press. Aldai receives the pass. Itatawin niya ang bola. Called for holding is Jordan and Gil. 67-56. Lamang pa rin po ang Davao Occidental Tigers. Coco Live. Seven minutes exactly remaining in the game. And you see here the depth of the Davao Occidental Tigers. Mupu si Aldwin Aldaya. Then you have Irvin Palencia coming in. And then you also have Paolo Hubalde. You have Joseph Terzo. All veteran guards. So ang hirap pag may pressure mo sila. You don't know kung maagawin mo ba sila or mafa-force mo yung turnover. And sabi mo nga, Javi, kahit sino ang first five ng Davao Occidental Tigers. Walang mintis. All these players can perform when needed. That and if right. you put them in any team, they can be starters in any team. Paulo Hubalde kicking it out to Agovida. Agovida 4 3. Not that time. Palma running. James Martinez fly by and a drive. No foul was called, but it will remain with an MVC of best friend. James Martinez looking for that foul. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Good uptake there by Martinez, baiting his defender. But I would have loved to see him give it up on the corner. Who suddenly bring a teammate. This fourth quarter is brought to you by TikTok. And finally, a foul is called in favor of the Nueva Ecija best friend. Paulo Balde will, will take a rest. Bonbon Custodio comes in. Six minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. And James Martinez will drive. will lay it up, but it was too strong. Now John Wilson will push it up. He's claiming that tapik yung bola ng pinasa niya ahead. But the referee see it otherwise. Another chance here for Nueva Ecija to chop down at this 11 point lead. 67 to 56. Six minutes, 17 seconds left. Palma, back to James Martinez. Will he use the pick of Mark Cruz? He did. Now Palma will, wow. Two shot by Palma. Kala ko wala na siyang space doon, Javi. So that is just pure ability there, shown by Renz Palma. So the lead is down to nine, five minutes, 49 left. Alan Santos with the left drive and puts Alan back. Santos. Yes, Pumasok, the punch in the ball. Now James Martinez. Sarau now. Medyo hesitant na si Sarau. Ah. Mark Cruz will look for his shot. Passes back to James Martinez. Fake and the... And the jumper, no. Alan Santos couldn't control the rebound. Bailout there for Nueva Ecija. Talking about James Martinez, he shot eight points in our first half. And yung last score niya dito na sa fourth quarter. Speaking of Alan Santos, his last shot brought the lead back up to 11. Five minutes, 17 seconds left. James Martinez, dalawa na bantay. Sarao for three. And it rattles in. That's J.P. Sarau's first score in a long time. He was one of the bright spots for Nueva Ecija in their first game. And if they want to come away with the win in this ball game, eh, kakailanganin nila yung presensya ni J.P. Sarau. Exactly, Javi. Meanwhile, Alan Santos banging body to the big Mark Cruz. Offensive rebound by Lalata. Custodio. 
James Martinez defending. Custodio with a runner. Mubu pa at ipinaso ng bola. That's just vintage Bon Bon Custodio right there. That was the move of the game brought to you by TikTok. Vintage Bon Bon Custodio move right there. That's something that we've seen him do since his college days with the University of the East Red Warriors. Nakadikwatro sa ere, no? Nagkape pa. Nagkape pa. Meanwhile, Martinez takes it in. Loses the ball, but again, gets a foul. Foul number 13. Aside from Bon Bon Custodio. Yeah, after making a conscious effort to make his stride from the outside, James Martinez has made a conscious effort to drive to the basket and fish for fouls. Meanwhile, four minutes, nine seconds remaining in the fourth. Let's see if James Martinez will cut the lead down. First shot, though, bounces out. So it's still 7-1 to 6-1. to one. And we'd like to thank our friends from Wilson. Wilson, our official ball for Phil Baskets Hubik Championship. Hey, kung talaga nga naman minamalas ka, James Martinez, two of his free throws rimming out. That is so rare, Javi. Yeah, especially for a guy named James Martinez. <laughs> exactly. Meanwhile, wala doon ang tira ni Palencia. Palma trying to bring the ball to half court. And I think he'll be called for the foul. No, it was the foul will go against Irvin Palencia for holding. James Martinez goes out. Had Irvin Palencia not committed that foul there, he would have gotten away with another steal in a clear lane to the basket. Yes, there's still a lot of time here for Nueva Ecija Best Friend to come back. 3 minutes 40 seconds. Sarau's layup, no. John Wilson will be left open for the three. And lucky break there for Nueva Ecija Best Friend. Hindi pumasok interest in John Wilson. A double foul is called. His third. And number seven, Red Spot on his first. So double foul done and Tinawag during the rebound play after that Wilson three. Jump ball. And the possession will go to the Nueva Ecija best friend. So like I said, there's still time here, Javi. It's only a 10-point lead. Let's see if the Nueva Ecija best friend can pull a rabbit out of their hats. Ito na si Palma. Successfully bringing the ball to midcourt. Now Sabao will try the three. Bounces out. Mark Kuzkai's eye for the rebound. Pero natrapping ni Lalata. Now Lalata is running. And he will go all the way. Wild shot there. Jeremy, Jeremy Gabo blocked by Palma from behind. And Jordan and Gell make that basket off the assist from Palma. We have a timeout now brought to you by a steak roasters coffee. It's 7 to 1 to 6 to 3 with 3 minutes and 3 seconds left in the game. Lamang parin po ang Davao. And we will return after this.
And that was the move of the game brought to you by TikTok. Jordan and Gell connecting with the layup. 71 to 63. Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Live, still up against the Red Sia best friend. Two minutes, 57 left in the game. Irving Palencia now versus Jordan Ingel, pero away from the ball. Meron tayong activity at natawagan ng foul si Lalata against Big Mark Cruz. Careless mistake there by Chris Lalata. You don't want to give me I see a glimmer of hope here, especially with only 2.50 left on our game clock. And eight-point lead lang yan, Javi. That's right. One other guy that we have been missing in today's ball game for the Davao Occidental Tigers, Robbie Seles, who scored 14 points for them against AICC, is nowhere to be found. I don't think he's also sitting in our bench, so uh, we'll try to get an update on that soon. That is right. Wala nga pala si Celis ngayon. Di natin nakita. He was very instrumental in, in Davao Occidental Tigers' his last game. Meanwhile, balik tayo sa action. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in the game. Alcoriza now to Palma. And they're running their hand off place. Palma will shoot the three. No. One, one, another rebound. I think he has at least four rebounds in this game now. Irving Palencia diving and saving that ball to Bonbon and now Jervin Gako to Wilson. Time management time here for the Tigers. Yes, they're up by eight. Jervin Gako, voila. Irving Palencia all over the court and still scrambling, pero Revesia comes up with it. Alcariza passes to Sarau and Sarau made sure of that. So it's only a six-point lead. Six-point lead by Nueva Isia. Our stadium announcer just called last two minutes, and that last two minutes is brought to you by TikTok. So one minute, 49 seconds left in the game. Anim na lang ang lamang ng Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Life. Pero sa kanila ang bola. Big possession right here for the gold shirts. Lalata, the floater is pure. Lead is back up to wait. Chris Lalata already with 13 points in this ball game to lead his side. 73, 65. One minute, 38 seconds left. Chase Martinez is back on the floor. Jordan Ingel. Now back to James. Brings it in. The runner is too strong. Meanwhile, Gapo comes up with that rebound. And passes too early to Bonbon Custodio, who was called for that backing violation. Mental laps there by the veteran. He already had Chris Lalata in front of him, but opting to wait for Bonbon Custodio. Can you yan, tawagan ng backward violation. At nakanakaw si Sarao. Nagnyinitian pa doon yung mga, mga veteran sa Dabo Occidental Tigers. Hindi nila nakita na pinasa na pala yung bola. Well, they're not out of the woods just yet. Too high of a pass there for Lalata. Pero na control pa rin ng Dabo ang bola. Irvin now against Jordan. That's a good matchup, Irvin versus Jordan. So 73-67 with 50 seconds se with 57 seconds left in the game. Davao protecting a six-point lead. They have 14 seconds on the shot clock. Para matagtagan pa ang lamang na to. Irvin, jumper, short. Mark Cruz to James Martinez. Perfect fast break play there. And that assist was brought to you by Grab timeout. Delivery. Another timeout brought to you by Astig Grocers Coffee. We will return.
40 second, 47 seconds remaining in the final quarter of the first game of our triple header here in Phil Basket. Subic Championship presented by Coco Life. Lamang pa rin po ang Davao Occidental Tigers. 73 to 69 against the Nueva Ecija best friend. Possession with the Davao Tigers. Let's see now. Gabo. No need to foul here for the best friend. Time down to 40 seconds. Shot clock at 6. Gabo gets the ball, drops it off. Pero natapikan. And James Martinez again off and running. Ooh. Pero he nabble siya. The Irving Palencia. Gigil na gigil with that chase down block. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Well, Jordan, Jordan Ingel thought there was nobody behind him to challenge that shot. But Irvin Palencia going out, coming out of nowhere to block that shot very, very cleanly. James Martinez now, Babawe. Wilson on him. Floater is up and in. 25 seconds left. This is still anyone's ball game. Na lang ang lamang ng Davao. And that pass. Yod. Gapo. Almost, well, he crashed Tito's uh, scores table now, no? No need to foul. Yes, they, 13 seconds oh, left. Oh, check that. They do need to foul. Oh, yes. 10 seconds left in the game. The shot clock is off. And we see is running again. Ingel, the foul and the basket. There was no need for Davo Occidental to make a play. All they needed to do was just hold on to the basketball. Right. And Nueva Ecija would have fouled there, judging that they are from the penalty, that they are in the penalty. Right. But Davo Occidental opting to go for the shot there and giving a chance for the white shirts. And ito na nga, Jordan Ingel connecting on a touchdown from John Paul Sarau, getting the hoop and the harm. And that delivery is brought to you by Grab. The, the score is tied at 73 all with five seconds left in the game. Jordan and Gell pressure back bonus free throw here. Let's see if the FAC a best friend can pull off an upset. He makes this the bonus free throw and the FAC a best friend is up by one. Timeout is called by Dava Occidental Tigers Coco Life. This timeout is brought to you by a Stig. Roasters Coffee. Both and we teams will... with two ta with Oh no no. Nueva Ecija with still a timeout left. Davao Occidental already calling their last timeout of the ball game. And let's see here what Coach Matt Makalintal has in store for his last play with only five seconds left in this ball game. That was a 13 to 2 run, Javi, by Nueva Ecija best friend. Less than two minutes left in the game. They were down by at least eight points. And sunod, sunod the fast break. Completed by James Martinez. Dalawa. And also full team effort effort from, from the from the defensive side to the fast break. No? Yung, yung hustle ni Palma ni Sarao. And ayun nga, 74-73. Lamang ng isang. We have I see a best friend with five seconds left. Still enough time for Davao to make a shot. All the Vaisia needs to do is turn in one final stop here and they come out victors of this ball game. Look at that last play there by Ingel. Yes. Over Irvin Palencia. Jordan over Irvin. <laughs> Meanwhile, yung mga huling plays ng Davao Occidental Tigers, very sloppy. Which allowed the best friend to come back, no? And now they're determining which side of the court will Bon Bon Custodio inbound. So I guess it will be on the left. Right, so five seconds left. Hold on to your hats. The Tigers don't need a three. Robles. The basket. Billy Ray Robles will drive and will miss. The upset is real heavy. Well, he could have gotten away with a traveling violation right there, but the referees let them play on. And Nueva Ecija emerges as the victors of this ballgame, pulling an upset over the very strong Davo Occidental Tigers. Wow. 
yun ang competition that we expect from Phil Basket Subic Championship. That's right. And just when we thought that Davao Occidental was already flipping the switch and turning on that win mode, etong Nueva Ecija naman, di nagpatalo, kept their energy, kept their composure, and ended up with a W. In that last play, Javi, no? In that, it, was, it was designed for Billy Ray Robles. Pero let's go first to our Coco Live best player of the game, who is James Martinez. All right, so we're here with the best player of the game, James Martinez. 14 points against the Davao Occidental Tigers. Nanalo po nga sila. James, how does it feel to pull off this upset against the Davao Occidental Tigers? Uh, siguro yun lang yung kagandahan sa basketball. May bounce back agad eh. Actually, sobrang sama nung game namin, nung first game namin. Uh, Nag-usap-usap lang kami, tapos wala pa kaming coach. So, parang nagiging assistant, rin, assistant coach din ako. Uh, yun, nag-usap lang kami lagi, tapos uh, yun. Uh, Nakachamba. <laughs> Alright, baka may mga gusto kong batiin, James. Uh, binabati ko nga pala yung, yung asawa ko na baby namin, si Hesse Jr. Uh, yun, uh, hi sa inyo dyan, love you. Uh, tapos yung family ko, si Papa Danny, si Mama Evelyn, si, uh, si Mama Bolly, si Kuya, Nico, Paolo. Tapos siyempre si Boss Bong, Ma'am Rian Cuevas, uh, si Ma'am B, si Boss Wiz. Yan, maraming salamat sa inyo. Tapos uh, yung mga teammates ko na... Pinagtsagaan din ako uh, kasi halos two years wala rin akong basketball eh. Uh, yun, tapos yung binabati ko rin pala yung drips and shot, uh, J&J rice meal, yung rice meal namin. Tapos uh, ano pa ba? Uh, yun, uh, thank you. Uh, tapos pala kay Coach Alvin, para kay Coach Alvin to. Yun. Tsaka kay Coach Joseph, good job. Coach Joseph. Alright, thank you James. Congrats ulit. And that was our player of the game, James Martinez with 14 points. Nanalo nga po sila 74 to 73 over the Davao Occidental Tigers in our first game ng ating third game day dito sa Phil Basket Subic Championship. Brought to you by Coco Life. Thank you, thank you. And that was our best player of the game once again, James Martinez. We now turn you over to Eman Cabilas to wrap up this ball game. All right, thank you, Javi. James Martinez, 14 points. Tawag namin sa kanya long range James, pero this time mas marami yung damage na ginawa niya sa loob. And syempre, the comeback is real, the upset is real. The Nueva Ecija best friend pulling off an upset here against the Davao Occidental Tigers, Coco Life. First game pa lang po yun, mga kaibigan. Meron pa pong dalawang susunod dito sa Phil Basket Subic Championship.